Francesco Totti and AS Roma. For 25 years, Francesco Totti was the face of AS Roma, playing over 600 games and scoring over 250 goals for the club. I can't even think of a player that has been that loyal to his club for 25 years throughout his whole adult life. Francesco Totti has played for AS Roma and he loves the club and the club does love him. His career has come to an end, but today I've got 10 things you probably didn't know about Francesco Totti. If you're going to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. Make sure you also subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure you also click that bell so you can be a part of the notification squad. Number 10, his goal celebration. Francesco Totti has created and innovated new goal celebrations throughout his career. One goal celebration was his tribute to then pregnant wife. Totti recreated a childbirth scene by stuffing the ball under his shirt and lying on his back while his teammates extracted the ball, representing his pregnant wife who was about to have the baby. Another goal celebration that Totti did use was the sucking of the thumb. He got the idea from the birth of his son and it continued into the birth of his daughter. So he decided to continue to do the celebration. Another celebration which is really iconic as of late in 2015, Totti scored twice against Lazio to bring the game from 2-0 down to 2-2. And when he did score his two goals, he took a selfie with the Roma fans. Number nine most teams scored against. So throughout Totti's career at AS Roma, he has come up against quite a few teams in the City R and to date, Totti has scored against 38 different City R sides. It ties him with retired legend Roberto Baggio, but interestingly enough, it is not the record as Alberto Giladino has struck against 39 teams in the City R. Totti fell short by one team scoring against. Number eight youngest captain in Serie A history. Totti literally spent all his footballing career at AS Roma and he eventually became the captain of the side in 1998. At the time he was handed the skipper's armband, he was 22 years and 34 days old, which made him the youngest captain in Italian football history and a record that stands to this day. Number seven, early life. While growing up in Italy at a young age, Totti fell in love with football and Totti began to play youth team football at the age of eight. After he came to the attention of scouts, his mother refused a lucrative offer from Milan to keep him in his hometown. Although his youth club initially had to come to an agreement to sell Totti because he was just too good, just in too much high demand, one of Roma's youth coaches persuaded his parents to let him join Roma not long after in 1989. Number six, records. When you stay at a club for 25 years, when you become a legend of a club, you're gonna hold records and Francesco Totti holds pretty much all the records at AS Roma. He's the AS Roma all-time leading goalkeeper, all-time leading goal scorer in the City R for AS Roma, Roma all-time leading goal scorer in the Champions League, Europa League, and in all UEFA competitions. He's got the all-time highest appearance maker with 786 games for AS Roma, Roma's all-time appearance maker in the City R, all-time appearance maker in the Champions League, Europa League, and in all UEFA competitions. Francesco Totti holds these records at AS Roma, and the question is, is anyone in our lifetime gonna come close to these records? Francesco Totti dedicated his life to the club, and because of that, he holds these records at AS Roma. Number five, individual honors. Even though Totti stayed at AS Roma for 25 years, he's still a legend of football. He's done so much in his footballing career. Just in his individual awards, he was the UEFA European Under-21 Champion, the City R Young Footballer of the Year in 1999. He was the man of the match in the UEFA Euro 2000. He was a part of the team of the tournament during the UEFA Euro 2000. He was the City R Footballer of the Year for two years during the years of 2000-2003. He was the City R Italian Footballer of the Year five times. He made it in the FIFA 100 and also he's a two-time winner of the City R Goal of the Year. Number four, honors. So we talked about Francesco Totti's individual honors, but when it comes to club and country, he's pretty much done it all, especially at AS Roma in the Italian league, he's pretty much done it all. With AS Roma, he won the City R only once. He's won the Coppa Italia two times, and he's won the Super Coppa Italia 
twice. And who can forget the 2006 World Cup when Italy went ahead to win the FIFA World Cup. He was a part of the team. He was one of the main stars in that Italian squad during the 2006 World Cup. And he went on to win the biggest prize in football, the FIFA World Cup. Number three his family. Francesco Totti has three children and a wife. He's still with his wife to this day. His wife's name is Ilari Blasley and she is a former showgirl who has been a co-host for one of Italy's first hit shows since 2007. The couple were married in June of 2005 and they had their first child Christian on 6th of November 2005. They went on to have their second child, a daughter named Chanel, and she was born in May of 2007. And the couple have been referred to as the Italian Beckhams, as their private lives are often speculated upon Italian magazines. And on the 10th of March 2016, the couple gave birth to their third child, Isabel. And a little known fact about Totti, he is a Roman Catholic. Number two. Lazio. Francesco Totti dedicated his life to AS Roma, but could he have dedicated his life to Lazio? Totti's youth team actually had an agreement and it was done, it was sealed for Francesco Totti to make his way to Lazio, not AS Roma. And the AS Roma youth coaches did enough to convince Totti's parents to let their son sign up for AS Roma. And because of that, the deal did not go through for Totti to go to Lazio. And number one, to receive UEFA President's Award. This news broke about a day ago, but Francesco Totti will receive the UEFA President's Award. Francesco Totti will receive the UEFA President's Award in Monaco in August in recognition of his outstanding performances and professional excellence. The UEFA president has paid tribute to Francesco Totti's career, saying it was a fantastic career, praising the former Italian international for his extraordinary loyalty and dedication to his hometown team, Roma. Totti made his final appearance for the club at 40 years of age, an unbelievable career from Francesco Totti and an unbelievable dedication to the AS Roma side. I'm sure that there would have been plenty of chances for him to go to other clubs, possibly even make more money, but it is absolutely incredible to see a football player stay at his hometown side and just the passion that him and the supporters have. If you did not watch his farewell speech after he did play his final game, I would really recommend that you guys go over and search it up try and find it because it was absolutely incredible but these are 10 things that you probably didn't know about Francesco Totti if you did enjoy this video go ahead and like it subscribe if you are new to the channel and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video